An effort by two retired Air Force vets to help curb the number of homeless vets has helped make a better Arizona for vets here in the Valley through an actual home where learning how to get back on their feet is what they do. We started to uh, make a garden so this way everyone could have fresh vegetables. This home provides just that, a home, something the vets who live here didn't have. A lot of these people have nothing when they come in and so they have to learn first of all trust. This is the list of chores that they have to do. The James Walton home opened in Phoenix on Veterans Day 2011, named for an Army Lieutenant Colonel, cousin of the home's first financial donor, who died in Afghanistan in 2008. Our goal was to have rapid emergent housing. In other words, bring someone in who wants to work and wants to find viable housing and within 30, 60, and 90 days get them to that point. I was probably in just about one step above from the worst scenario possibly for for someone homeless. That was 61 year old Freddie Portillo four months ago until the Marine Corps veteran found the Walton home. I finally felt the comfort of a place that had that cared what happened to you. Here he was one of 18 vets from all branches of the service of all ages who get food, clothing, shelter, okay. all the basic uh, just, needs. You can't go to a uh, interview when you're homeless, you know, you can't iron a shirt when you don't when you don't have a shirt. So while developing life skills to help them transition into jobs and homes of their own. These gentlemen and women um, have served our, our country and to see them on the street corners and there should be no no better out there. Portillo now has his own home and a job, a far cry from where he was. A thousand percent better uh, from the day I got here. The Walton House is a program through a nonprofit called Project Veterans Pride. They are funded through grants and private donations, and they are always looking for more, like bus passes, printers, toiletries, and even socks. I've put a link to their website on ours at CBS5AZ.com. Just look for my online story. And stay with us. CBS5 News is coming right back.